Hello Virgo and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Hero Soul Journey Tarot Reading. Now this is a general timeless tarot reading meant for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please go with the messages that resonate with you. Now if you wish for further messages, I would suggest that you check out the other astrological videos that correspond with your sun, moon, Venus, and or rising, as those may have some messages for you as well. So we are looking at Mercury in retrograde in Capricorn. He started his journey in Aquarius. So he's bringing back these Aquarian messages back to Capricorn, where we also have Venus in retrograde in Capricorn, who's bringing in all this lovely energy into Pluto's transformative energy. So this is to help us all align with our higher pers perspective and truth. So I'm using this aquamarine pyramid to represent uh, Mercury in retrograde. We have a rose quartz obelisk to represent the love of Venus. And then we have a black tourmaline obelisk to represent the transformative powers of Pluto because these are permanent changes. And it's so nice. It's a great blessing that we have Aquarius and Venus in this company with Pluto. So let's get into it. Let's check out your hero's journey dream cards to see where you're at on your path right now, Virgo. Okay, the reward number three. Celebrate your magnificence. That is beautiful. Especially with this Venus energy. And uh, Virgo, you are ruled by Mercury. So this Mercury retrograde could have a impact on your life. And we got this beautiful reward coming your way. Now let's see what lesson you're learning or have learned with the Soul Lesson cards. Oh, peace. Nice. I am being of love and I release all negative energy because you're celebrating your magnificent. You are this being of love and you're releasing all that negative energy like this black tourmaline. Black tourmaline might be a great crystal for you to uh, wear or meditate with. Now, let's look at what is the gift of this lesson with the Witch's Kitchen Oracle Cards. What is the gift of this lesson? Ah, look at that, Honey Ambrosia. Okay, as you know, Honey is the food of the gods. I'm just going to read what it means from this book. And here we have food for the gods, liquid delight, spread me at breakfast, drink me at night, taste of ambrosia, sugary sweet, honeybee nectar, magical treat. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote it be, there it is done. So, and honey is also very healing because it's an antibacterial. 
it's actually uh, an ancient uh, ointment for wounds to help keep the bacteria out. So let's get into your tarot, Virgo, and we're going to first look at where you've been, then where you're at, and what path is opening up for you. Because here we have this wonderful reward and you're celebrating it with the ambrosia of honey. And it's just really filling you with all this love. And for some of you, this could be just bringing you a sense of peace, a peace of mind, and that is also your reward. So let's look at where you've been. Here we have the sun. Yes, that's very nice. And then we have the five of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay, even though financially things may have been troubling for some of you, uh, work may be dissatisfying, the Five of Pentacles does represent rejection, abandonment, and feeling of lack. And with the Five of Wands, well, that can create disagreements. And, you know, there can be money arguments here in your life, whether it's in work or relationships. But you do seem to have this sunny disposition. You know that you're safe. And the honey is like liquid gold. It is liquid sunshine. And it's very healing and protective. And there's something within you. There's this inner peace that, you know, keeps you optimistic and filled with hope and knowing that prosperity is going to come and this just needs to be worked through. Now let's see where you're at. Here's the happy harvest home. You feel quite safe and protected. You know, and this is, you know, just having a nice, simple life that's comfortable, where your friends and family feel safe, protected, welcomed. You essentially have all that you need. Okay, then we have the King of Swords. This is the balancing of equality. This can be the equality of the sexes. Um, also balancing relationships because we do have it here with the five of wands. So there could be some altercations, some disagreements, and this could be your gift by bringing peace because you are feeling this love and peace like the sunshine. You're going to warm the situation and bring balance to it and calm this energy down. You know, because a lot of times it comes out of the fear of lack, of abandonment, of not belonging. But here with the Queen of Swords, you remove that. This can be removing this doubt. This can also be you leaving a job that was dissatisfactory to you. It did not bring you joy. Uh, the people that you worked with might not have accepted you for who you are. The Queen of Swords does represent separation and loss and sometimes divorce. And we do have these arguments over money, whether this has to do with work, or relationship and balance is going to be found there will be some kind of reconciliation because there is this peace and sometimes when there is this separation there can be this sense of release where the sweetness of life returns 
because you have removed a negative energy that no longer um, is in harmony or balance. It has not been fair. Okay, and what path is opening up to you? Well, we have the Page of Swords here. Now, this is communications. This is ruled by Gemini, which is also ruled by Mercury. So be very careful of the messages you receive because the Page of Swords can have double meaning, like the double-edged sword. There can be hidden agendas here. This could be somebody who's watching what you're doing. So be, this could be a spy, you know, so be very careful because sometimes there is someone who becomes very envious and jealous of, you know, just because you enjoy a simple, happy life, they want to somehow ruin that for you. Some people get upset when you are in the state of bliss because you're celebrating your magnificence. There's a reward here. That reward is honey and ambrosia. And this is a blessing from the gods. And also be aware of the bees because it when you see bees, this is how spirit is communicating with you and reminding you of the sweetness of life and let that bring peace to your mind and fill your being with love. Okay, let's see how the, this is going to unfold. Okay, the hermit. Okay, keep things to yourself. This is your sojourn. This is spending some time on your own. You know, so if there are eyes on you, Virgo, uh, they're only going to see you spending time alone. Sorry, those are my kitty cats. But the hermit is shining his light into the depths of his soul and exploring that area of himself or herself. This is a sojourn, and this is also about discipline, doing that which brings you peace of mind. Okay, Eight of Wands, these are swift messages. Swift changes to your fortune and to this loss. So this can be a complete turnaround. I'm going to draw one more card to find out what else. Okay, King of Pentacles. That's very nice. Okay, this does confirm what I was about to say is that complete turnaround in your fortune. And there might be someone here in your world that isn't happy that you're happy with what you have and taking joy in just life itself, finding peace of mind within your world. So this is just telling me, do what feels right to you. Do what, follow your bliss, follow your love and this abundance of honey is yours because this king of pentacles is the king of wealth. This is ruled by Taurus, which is an earth sign. Uranus is in Taurus right now. You're an earth sign, Virgo. So this energy trines with you. And so this could very well mean a change of fortune for you. Okay, now let's go deeper into uh, the heart and soul and what encouragement spirit is bringing to you.
This is your artwork, Virgo. Okay, and we have a new phase begins and brings with it a new opportunities. This is a lucky and prosperous time where much that previously seemed impossible now is possible. Doors previously closed now open. Your world is full of light. Look at that here. Your world is full of light. The sun, the happy harvest home. You have the king of pentacles, the shift of fortune, because that which seemed impossible because either you didn't have the financial means or you had suffered a loss. Well, now there is this swift change of fortune with the Eight of Wands. And that can be communications. We also have that Mercury going direct on February 3rd. So this could be a leap forward. Okay, now let's look at your magic. What is the magic that is around you? Uh, these can be your magical intentions, meditations, whatever feels right to you, Virgo. Tree of life, true wisdom, and making good choices in life. You have learned your lessons. We have the tree of life, which, and this honey, a change of fortune. Your world is being filled with light. So, I hope that this was a helpful reading, beneficial for you. And until next time, Virgo, take care.